All right. So today we're gonna be talking about brakes. Yes. What stops your car? We're gonna be talking about disc brake because this one doesn't have drums because heavy duty applications don't usually come with drums because they're not very reliable for braking and they end up heating up and not getting the job done. We're gonna be working on this lower Dodge over here. Got the front lifted up off the air so we could have the tires pulled. Got the lift dodge over here. So let's go take a look at it. Up here, you have your master cylinder. That is what engages the brake fluid and sends it from your reservoir down through these lines. Down deep down there. And then out to your brake line that feeds to your caliper. You got your brake booster, which helps with 75% of the work. And it send, pushes the push rod and it pushes the linkage. And then we're gonna come down here and I'm gonna show you how you pull these. Already loosened these up. These are the retaining bolts and these sliders. They hold them in. I'm gonna loosen them up. pull them out usually you have to beat them out but today we've got them already loosened up and should be able to come out no problem oh maybe not how far do they spread out Oh, are they? Josh, come hold it. Someone hold it. As I said, they're already loose, but they're held up in there. Yeah, these are weird. These are weird. Yeah, tap them all the way out. As you see here. Yeah, slightly grooved and damaged. Got some. Oh, yeah. A little roughed up, but looks solid. Let's tap out the back. Oh. I shot caught that one. Go. We're gonna pull the caliper. And not so. There you go. And as you see the rust on this rotor kind of holds you up from trying to pull these calipers off. Now here you see that it's got a single piston on this caliper. It's a big heavy duty caliper. Guess Dodge decided they said just one pit, one piston would do the job. Just make a big ass piston and you're good to go. All right, and you see these pads aren't too worn. They have some life in them, nice and thick. Might be a little gritted up, but look good. But you see on here the rotor got some rust. Obviously, this side, this patch right here is lower because it allows the rust to build instead of right here, these two spots where it's grinding and being cleaned constantly. Whereas to up here, it's not. Which is bad, but it's accepted. Then we're gonna come put this pad, back, this caliper back on, which is not the easiest whenever you have rusted rotors, but it's on. Slider would go in. Drop these back in. You got to sink them in there till you feel the threads hit the bottom. Do that at the bottom side. We need to lube these bad boys up. Throw some grease in them. Get in here. 
make sure it's tightening. This is an overview and look into uh, hydraulic bricks. Thanks for watching.